everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. And thank you for joining me today, especially if you're new around here. Welcome, I hope you enjoy the video. Um, this is my Toil unboxing. So this is the Time of Your Life box, which is a monthly subscription box, mainly aimed at women over 35, I would say. However, I find their edits really, really great. And I don't think that they necessarily are just for the more mature clientele. I think there are great products in here regardless of, of your age. It's a beauty box that I've been getting for a while now and I'm really enjoying the edits. I think that is the main selling point for me personally with this box is that the edits are just great. They're different every month. You get different products, different types of product every month as well. So you're not getting the same skincare or the same makeup every month. There is a real difference in the themes and I think the themes are really, really well thought out. Uh, retails for £35 a month, that includes your postage and packaging and value is always over £100. I'm pretty sure it's always over £100. Um, and you tend to get full size products and um, quite often they're more luxurious products than you would get in your sort of standard beauty boxes that are on the market. So it's a box I'm really enjoying. Here's a little sneak. The box has changed this month. I don't know whether that's just because of the products that they've put in and um, that they could get away with a slightly smaller box, but it is definitely a different box. Not that that matters. Always comes really nicely presented in tissue paper. Loads of these little starch pellets, which you can just melt in the sink afterwards. And I will just get rid of a few of those so that you can actually see what products we have got. So we've got four items this month. It tends to vary between four, five. I mean, we've had more than that in some boxes, but they haven't all been full size. But definitely looks like they're all full size products in this month's box. And the October box theme is Autumn Night In. Um, and the founder is called Karen and she always has a little blurb on the front of the leaflet and it just says the weather is changing and the nights are getting darker so what could be more wonderful than some gorgeous beauty treats to make you feel fabulous. I won't go on to read the rest because it's sort of telling you what's in the box but it's all about pampering and having a really cosy night in which I think is a lovely idea especially for this time of year. Um, we are more likely to be staying in, you want like a nice hot bath and a pamper session would be perfect. So yeah, we've got four items. I'm going to start off with this one, which is a sheet mask, face mask from Nip and Fab. This is an exfoliating glycolic fix bubble mask. Okay, I've used bubble masks before, um, mainly from OK, I think. But I don't think I've had a glycolic bubble mask before. So yeah, looking forward to this one. Cleansing, oxygenating, exfoliating with 2% glycolic acid glow boost and radiance okay interesting charcoal infused bubble mask i mean if you've ever used one of these bubble masks before they are hilarious you like put the sheet mask on and then over time it starts to bubble up you end up looking like something from some sort of horror movie um haven't tried this one before so i'll be interested to see what it's like and the back just says our ox uh, oxygenating and cleansing formula is enriched with two percent glycolic acid to smooth and retest texture skin Upon application, oxygen bubbles rise from the charcoal infused mask, lifting away impurities and dead skin cells. Skin is deeply purified, feeling fresh and soft to the touch. So we'll see. We'll see how we get on with that one. Like I say, I haven't used this particular mask from Nip and Fab before, but I have used their eye masks are particularly good. They do the really big eye masks, which I really enjoy. And uh, yeah, they do some great products. I think their um, exfoliating toner is meant to be really good. So... The leaflet says that this RRP is for £7. It's a single-use mask, so, yeah, I mean, there's, it's not the most luxurious product in the world, and I'm pretty sure you can usually pick these up for less than £7. Um, and the leaflet just says, Glycolic acid is so great for helping our skin reveal glow. It says acid, but take your thoughts to exfoliate rather than peel. This isn't going to be strong enough to peel, but it will help to get rid of that top layer of dead skin. So yeah, that's your sort of first step in your pamper routine is a nice sheet mask. And I'm going to go on to this one, which is a brand that I haven't used, I don't think anything or much of at all, but it is one that I've seen quite regularly on social media. This is from Thalgo and this is a shower foam. So we've got full size here, 150ml. This RRP is for £16 and it just says... Shower foam at its finest. 
Falgo is packed with marine goodness and this shower foam adds luxury to your morning and evening ritual. Fragrance may vary. I think, from what I've seen, I think we've all got this one, this like greeny coloured one. Um, gently cleanses, rich airy shower foam, gently cleanses skin, wrapping the body in a delicate scent with fresh aquatic notes. Really looking forward to using that. I like a shower foam in the shower, although I'm a terrible over user of shower products. <laughs> But yeah, looking forward to giving that a go. Then we have this, which I was really surprised at actually. This is from L'Occitane. This is a 250ml body lotion in Rose Calisson, I think that is, Rose Calisson. And L'Occitane is one of those brands that you just don't see in beauty subscription boxes very often at all. I think they're quite picky about where they put their products and where they work, who they work with. So it's great to see it included in this box. Um, love L'Occitane body products. They always smell gorgeous. They are always really nice um, and nourishing. And this one just says, this pearlescent body lotion moisturises the skin and leaves behind a gourmand feminine scent where floral and fruity notes mingle with rosa scented folia floral water from Provence. They're very much into their flowers, aren't they, L'Occitane? I think it's one of those that... Oh, that does smell nice. It is quite rose scented and I think you know depending on how offended you are by rose I know some people really don't like it but I don't mind that too much but my thoughts when I saw this box and I saw this product in particular was that I would probably put this away for my mum um, as part of like a little gift box for her for Christmas maybe because it's such a nice luxurious product and I have loads of like body products I'm terrible at even remembering to put body lotion on most of the time unless it's like an active target one. So I've got like um, ameliorate for like the tops of my arms, especially where I get a bit of that um, KP, that chicken skin. So unless it's something like that or like a soothing after shaving moisturiser for my legs, I don't really use body lotion. I'm terrible. I'm really like strict on my skincare re regime for my face and then forget the rest of my body. So yeah, I might put that away for my mum. This RRP is for £24.50 and um, the leaflet just says, this is such an amazing body lotion and we're so lucky to have L'Occitane in the box. Packed with shea butter and sunflower seed oil to hydrate even the driest of skins. It's fragranced with rose centio centiolia de Provence floral water to give it a hint of summer as you drift off to sleep. Use on dry areas per shower and let this gorgeous lotion sink in to hydrate skin overnight. So that's really nice. And yeah, like I said, not a brand that we see a lot of in the beauty subscription boxes. So yeah, interesting that it's been included in this one. And then the last one. This is like the big ticket one, really. And this is from Skin Skinition. I don't think I've heard of this brand. I don't think I have. Um, and this is the Ageless Overnight Retinol Power Balm. So I currently use Medicaid. For my retinol let me just show you the one that i'm on at the moment so this is my current retinol so this is the medicaid and it's only the crystal retinol three which is one of their lowest strengths i think they do a zero and then the three um but this has 0.03 percent encapsulated retinol so there's like different levels of vitamin a if you're not aware and retinol is the lowest one and it just takes your skin more conversions to get it to the state that it needs i'm no skincare expert i just watch and read a lot but yeah i think retinol is like the lowest um and it has to be converted i think three times before your skin can actually use that ingredient to help with the cell renewal and then you've got retinol and then that takes one step less and then there's like prescription strength which is like almost your skin can use it straight away, which tends to be called tretinoin. Um, so yeah, so Medicaid is the one that I've been using and really, really loving um, for a retinol. So I'm onto that second step. I've used Pixie and um, the Inculist retinol is really good if you're looking for something as a first time use or um, something a bit gentler. They're the ones that I would personally recommend. Um, so I was intrigued to see this one because um, Karen says in the leaflet, this power balm is exactly what you need when your skin is over 40. Retinol or vitamin A is one of the key players in our skincare arsenal and this salon product packs a punch. 
look out for the before and after images I've posted both on our website and social media to see the results you can achieve. Incredible. And this retails for £61.50, which sounds expensive, but if you buy like Medicaid products, you'll know that they are decent retinol products are a little bit more pricey. Um, however, it will be interesting to see what this has actually got in it. It's got fragrance in it. And then I think it's just got retinol. So I've just checked the box on my next Medicaid product, which I've got the six to go on to next because I want to try and build up and have a bit of a stronger one. And this definitely contains retinol. Yeah, so it's definitely got retinol, whereas this has only got retinol. Um, so I think this will be a gentler version. So great if you haven't used a retinol product before, but I'm not sure it's going to be for me because I've already sort of moved up and I'm trying to increase i mean you don't always have to increase um your percentage you know you don't stronger is not always better that's like a bit of a misconception with some skincare but i feel like i've seen some results with using the lower percentages of retinol and then with the first lot of retinol that i've used and now i just want to up it one more i don't think i'll go much higher than the um medicaid crystal retinol six to be honest don't know whether I'd push it anymore but I feel like I'll get more results um better results if I just push it a little bit more but not everyone's skin needs it totally depends on what you need um anyway I've waffled loads there but I think this is going to be a much gentler product but it does say it's a targeted overnight treatment to help rejuvenate skin and reduce the signs of aging a powerful blend of retinol and peptides now that does interest me because i've been desperately trying to get more peptides into my skincare regime because peptides encourage collagen elastin production which are known to increase the firmness and in your skin and reduce the look of wrinkles anyway so yeah this is going to apparently give you a more youthful looking skin actively works to help reduce the appearance of pigmentation while refining pores leaving a smoother more even complexion um, so yeah, I might, I might use this. I might give it a go after I finish my retinol three, which is nearly finished. My crystal retinol three. I might give this a go. I mean, it's nice packaging. It does look very similar to sort of the Inkylist uh, retinol that I've used previously. I'm just trying to look at the texture. Um, but I'm just intrigued now by the added benefit of the peptides as well. So yeah, I might give this a go. So we've got 50ml in here. You literally need a tiny drop with retinol. I would recommend building your resistance up slowly. So using it maybe once a week to start with and building it twice a week. I use mine nearly every night now, but it took me a while to get to that point. Or if you do have very delicate skin, maybe moisturize first and then put your retinol on and that will just give your skin a little bit of a layer to help to reduce any irritation but i always go in with really hydrating products for my skin after i use retinols so, and repairing skin barrier repairing products in my routine to help to stop any of the issues that you would associate with a vitamin a um i don't think this would be strong enough to cause any sort of irritation to your skin um, but like I say, slow and steady is definitely one with retinol products. There are loads of videos out there about, you know, how to start using a retinol and ways that you can reduce uh, any irritation to your skin if you do have sensitive skin or find that maybe it's a bit too powerful for you. So yeah, go, go and check out. There's loads on, on the internet, on YouTube for you to look at. Um, it does say to use each night. So maybe it is, you know, gentle enough for that. I just say at the bottom actually, you know, if skin is sensitive, introduce into your daily routine gradually. Due to the active nature of retinol in this product, it's recommended that it is not used for at least five days prior to intense sun exposure or advanced exfoliating peeling treatments. Um, cruelty free and vegan, which is always great. And I think it's actually a, a British company. Yeah, it's made in the UK, which is interesting. Great product to include in this box because of the target market. Anyone I would say in the 30s, 
I mean, I think some people say mid 20s start using a retinol product. It totally depends on your skin, on your skin type, whether you need it. Retinol, actually, I think the, the vitamin A was originally used in skincare to help to treat acne because it essentially just increases the cell turnover in your skin. So obviously anyone who's suffering with acne, I think that's where it originally came from. Um, and then they obviously realised that, hang on a minute, this could help with the signs of aging and it's one of those products one of those ingredients that is one of the only ingredients known to actually reverse the signs of aging so it's it's a great one to include in this box because of the target market that toil or time of your life have got as as a slightly older market if you were a younger person this isn't for you put this aside for an older relative an aunt a sister a mum a nan whoever this isn't going to be for you um, if you are young and have beautifully smooth, not marked, no wrinkles skin, you don't need this in your life right now. But I am looking forward to giving it a go. I don't know whether it's going to compete with Medicaid for me personally. But yeah, I'll be interested to see, especially with the inclusion of peptides. Right, so those are our products. So this is definitely the big ticket product in this box at like £61.50. But the whole box is actually worth together £109. So it's a, a really good return on your £35 that you've spent on your box. I'm really looking forward to trying the shower gel, um, the shower foam. I think that's going to be lovely. I think I am going to, I'm tempted to use this, but I think... It would be more suited to my mum. I think she will enjoy that. I'm going to give these definitely a go. Love anything skincare. And like I said, it's the theming for me personally with Toil that I really enjoy. I think the products are really well thought out. And the whole way that the box is put together and the theme of the box is really thought out. You can see that they've said it's a cosy autumn winter night in. And you've got a face mask, a nice bath or shower product a lovely body lotion and then something to treat your skin with as well it's like a i can totally see where the theme is whereas sometimes with subscription boxes i look at a theme and think where have they got that from i can't see how these products marry up to this theme there's also a little um code on the back of the leaflet which says your very own treat from provence get 10 percent off your first purchase um loxitan and it's just toil so if anyone wants to use that and get 10% off some Loxtan goodies, perfect if you're thinking of picking something up for a Christmas gift or a birthday present. Um, I think there are some exclusions, but generally most things are included. So let me know what you thought of this box. I'm actually, it's one that I think most people will maybe dismiss, but I think that the value is really there and like I say, full size that's three full size bottles at the front and even you got one sheet mask and although that is a full size item it's not like massively luxurious it's just a single use sheet mask but i think you know the rest of the box is really really good and i'm really pleased with it personally and i'm looking forward to seeing what's next for toil let me know if you pick up the toil box and if you or if you are interested in picking it up now i'll leave a link in the description bar below feel free to click through that um, get yourself a box they've got an advent calendar as well i think it might be a 12 days of beauty um rather than a full 24 day advent calendar but if you haven't had the subscription boxes previously that might be something that you're interested in checking out instead and i will be back with some more videos soon if you're not already subscribed to my channel i would love it if you joined the family don't forget to click that like button if you've enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one thanks everyone